Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, discussing the latest progress with women's liberation. This article came out shortly after I graduated high school in 1974. A champion of women's rights in many ways, Ms. Davenport doesn't have any desire to compete with men or to have her girl students compete with boys in track meets. It's ridiculous to attempt to compete against superior weight and strength, she said. Women just don't have the muscles unless you're talking about the few Russian women athletes who take male hormones and develop enormous physiques and even deep voices. Around that time, there was a big push to achieve equality for women's athletics. And female athletes from other countries were very angry that Russian women were taking hormones and steroids. This sort of cheating by the Soviet Olympic team made it impossible to compete on a level playing field. Women didn't want to compete with men, they just wanted to have equal access to funding and facilities. In 1972, the government passed Title IX regulations, making it illegal to discriminate based on sex. Women athletes saw decades of progress towards achieving equality. But Joe Biden erased decades of progress on his first day in office. Biden signed an executive order requiring that biological boys be allowed to compete against girls. And now women athletes have to deal with this. They have to compete against men who are much larger and stronger. This not only destroys women's athletics, but it's also very dangerous for the female athletes. Men who don't have the integrity or the ability to compete with other men are now predators against women's athletics. So congratulations, Joe Biden, for taking us back 50 years, which was about the time you started in Congress. Americans used to worry about Russian women cheating with hormones, but now America has become the world's worst cheaters ourselves. Joe Biden is giving me huge amounts of material to make videos about, but I'm having a little bit of trouble keeping up. Please visit Toto and Kyrie on the web at realclimatescience.com.